Welcome friends, in this lesson in the course, let's take a look at the graphing of vector by components and by unit vectors. So first let me just begin by adding a coordinate system in here. So here's a coordinate system. And imagine our goal is to graph the vector that's given by the following components. So one along the x-axis, that's what that means. And then for example, just two along the y-axis and then three along the z-axis. So to, to depict this, this is what you do. You see this here is a value of 1, so you can count 1 along the x-axis. Then you see over here, let me do that one in green. This represents 2 along the y-axis, so you're going to go 2 along the y-axis, when you, but you got to turn there at 90 degrees, and then go twice as long about. And lastly, for the last one, this is 3, so what you're going to do is you're going to turn at the end of the green one line there and go 3 units straight up this way, see? I'm eyeballing the distances, but it gets the idea across. And then what you can do is just connect the origin, which is 0, 0, 0, with the point all the way on top right there, you see? And then what you see there, this is the vector right here. So it goes from the origin to the point 1, 2, 3. Let's take a look at another example. How do we make a vector between two points? Example. Imagine you want to go from the following points. So 1, 2, 3 to the point 3, 4, 5, 6. You want to make a vector that connects the points. So you do V and then the components. How do you get the components? You subtract corresponding coordinates. So in other words, it would be 4 minus 1, comma, and then it would be 5 minus 2, comma, and then it would be 6 minus 3. And then you work that out. So this would be 3, comma, 3, comma, 3. It just happens that in our case, that works out to be 3, comma, 3, comma, 3. So where is this vector? First, what I'm going to do is I'm going to kind of move this over. And now take a look. I'm going to move this down a little bit more. What you have to do is go somewhere, locate the point 1, 2, 3. So that means 1 along the x, 2 along the y, and then 3 about along the z-axis. Estimated to be about here. To get to the point 4, 5, 6, just go by the components. So that means the following. Remember that our z-coordinate from the first point is positive 3. And each component is then equal to positive 3. So you kind of want to keep that in mind so that things have the right scale and all that. Take a look. So I'm going to go 3 this way, starting from the point 1, 2, 3. That represents 3 along the x-axis. That takes care of this component. Then I'm going to go 3 this way. That represents 3 along the y-axis. That's that component. Then I'm going to turn. I'm going to go 3 straight up. That represents the component of 3 along the z-axis, which means that the vector itself is then the following object. It goes from this point to that point. It's the 3, 3, 3. The vector with those components. Let's take a look at another example. Another thing that we do sometimes is we graph them by unit vectors. So this is an example of that. Okay, let me do a coordinate system in here. And imagine our goal is to graph a vector that is defined as the following. 3i plus 4k. That means three unit vectors along the x-axis, followed by four unit vectors along the z-axis. So I'm going to kind of color code this so we can differentiate. This is 3i. So what I'm going to do is basically, it's as if you basically drew three arrows along the x-axis, each one of unit length, or one unit in length. So one, two, and then basically three. And then what you're going to do is, notice that this is 4k. So you stop at the third one here, and then you're going to turn and go along the z-axis, parallel to the z-axis, four units straight up. So it's going to look like this, in other words. You see, this is going to be one unit vector along the z-axis, but you need four of them because this is four k's. So another one, and then another one this way, and then one last one this way, which means that the final vector is the following quantity. It's the vector that goes from the origin, 0, 0, 0, up to here. You see? That is what the vector is, the red arrow. So that just happens to lie within the xz plane only because the vector does not have a y component to go left or right. Let's do a last example here. So I'm going to copy this. And I'm going to make this one the most sophisticated, so to speak. So it's going to be v is equal to the following. 2i plus 3j, say, plus 4k. So now this one has a component along the x-axis, along the y-axis, and along the z-axis. So let's do this. Again, I'm going to just draw little arrows. I'm going to make this one first green. 
So I'll just kind of reuse this one here. Remember, this means one unit along the x-axis. So that's one, and then that's two, because it says two y. Okay, what you're going to do next is you're going to take that part that's the 3j by itself. Let me make that red. And you're going to turn, and you're going to go one to the right. But you have to do that three times because, because it says 3j. So once, twice, and then lastly three times this way. So you're going by 3j's. That's what the 3j means. And the last part says 4k. So to do that part, I'm just going to use this one from right here. You basically turn and you go straight up. Four units. Four unit vectors. So one, two, and then three, and then four, like this. And this brings you to this position, which means the final vector is the following vector that goes from the origin to this point right there. And that is it. So thank you, friends. Please leave a like, please subscribe. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you in another video.